Hi, I'm Kristen Omdahl and welcome back to my studio. Whether you know how to knit in rows or rounds, I want to show you how to make this beautiful basket weave hat. I'm going to show you how to do the basket weave stitch in rows and rounds and then show you how to make the hat in both ways. Let's get started. This beautiful basket weave texture is alternating little tiny squares of three stitches and four rows in stockinette and reverse stockinette. How you do that in rows and how you do it in rounds is slightly different. You'll want to cast on 60 stitches whether you're working in rounds where you'll be putting them onto a very short circular needle, this is 16 inches, or if you're going to be working in rows, you can cast on 60 stitches onto a straight needle or to any size circular needle because you're going to be working flat in rows. If you need help with casting on, I have several videos and they will be linked in the video description box. In the next section, I'm going to show you how to work this eight row repeat in rows and then after that, I'll show you how to work this eight row repeat in rounds. Working in rows, for the first row, it is to knit three, and purl three. And that is the sixth stitch repeat that we will repeat across the entire row. Knit three and purl three. If you are going to modify the size of this pattern, please keep in mind that you'll want to keep your stitch pattern or your number of stitches to a multiple of six. Row two is the same as row one. We're going to knit three and purl three. And these are the six stitches we will repeat across the entire row. Knit three and purl three. For rows three and four, we will also be repeating row one, which is to knit three and purl three. You want to repeat that across all of row three and all of row four. Okay, so after four rows, you can see we have our nice little squares alternating of stockinette and reverse stockinette. Now remember, on the actual pattern to make it a basket weave, we now have to alternate the position of those stockinette and reverse stockinette squares in the rows as well as across the stitches. So now for the next four rows, we're going to change up our stitch pattern. Rows one through four was to repeat knit three, purl three across. So now for rows five through eight, starting with row five, we're going to purl three and knit three. Purl three and knit three. And you want to repeat this across all of rows five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, as you see, we now have our alternating squares of stockinette and reverse stockinette. And so this is our eight row repeat. You want to repeat these eight rows and you want to repeat that until your hat is the desired height. Then I'll show you how to do the decreases for the crown. Basket weave in the round is very similar to basket weave in rows, but slightly different. And to begin with, we're going to add a stitch marker so we can mark the beginning and end of each round. And you also want to make sure that your stitches are not twisted. So I've got my stitch to the outer edge and the cast on edge to the inner edge. And you wanna make sure that it's not twisted. I'll show you, a tw I'm gonna twist it so you can see. See how that line doesn't follow along? That's because it's twisted, so you wanna move it back. So the stitches are all on one side and the cast on edge, edge is on the other. And now with our stitch marker 
marking the beginning and end of our rounds, we're going to begin round one. And round one is to knit three, purl three, around. Okay, so we're going to repeat knit three, purl three, all the way around. At the end of round one, we're going to slip our stitch marker over to the right hand needle, and now we're ready to begin round two. For round two, we're going to be repeating, whoops, we're going to repeat round one, which is to knit three, purl three. Okay, so for the entire round two, we're going to knit three, purl three around, and then for rounds three and four, we're going to do the exact same thing. So you're gonna slip the marker, knit three, purl three, and repeat that all the way around for rounds two, three, and four. Okay, rounds one through four are complete. We're now going to slip our marker and round five is where our pattern changes. We're going to purl the first three stitches. And knit the next three stitches. So our repeat for round five is to purl three. And knit three. And you want to repeat this all the way around for rounds five, six, seven, and eight. You want to repeat rounds one through eight for your desired length of hat. And next, I'll show you how to decrease for the very simple crown. As you can see, we now have both our in the rows and in the round hats ready for decreasing for the crown. We're gonna start with the hat in rows. And the first decrease round is to knit three together across the entire row. So we had 60 stitches in this hat, and by knitting three together across the row, we will be decreasing from 60 stitches down to 20 stitches. If you've never done a knit three together before and you're having some trouble, sometimes it's really helpful to pull on your work like this. By pulling on your work, you elongate the loops on the left hand needle and you can help to insert your right hand needle into all three at the same time to knit all three together. Okay, we've now decreased from 60 stitches down to 20 stitches. Our next row in the crown, we're going to purl in every stitch across. For our third and final row of the crown, we're going to knit two stitches together across the entire row. So we'll be going from 20 stitches down to 10 stitches. And now we're going to cut our yarn with it leaving the tail about 18 inches long. We leave the tail really long because we're going to be cinching up the remaining live stitches and sewing up the side seam of the hat. So first you want to thread a yarn needle onto your yarn. Then we're going to pick up our hat and slip each of those live stitches off the knitting needle and onto the yarn needle. Okay, then we're going to slide all of them through. So we'll be cinching the crown of the hat. Before we continue on and seam up the hat, I like to secure the stitches that are cinched with a knot.
And now we'll be sewing up the sides of our hat. You want to make sure you're lining up each of the squares accordingly. So you're going to be sewing a stockinette square to a reverse stockinette square. I'll show it to you on this side. We're going to sew from the other direction, but I want to show you here you can, so you can see how they're going to line up. A stockinette square will be sewn to a reverse stockinette and so on and so forth so that the pattern remains seamless. So I'll turn it back around and we'll start on one side. I like to grab two stitches at a time, staying as close to the edge as possible. And you also want to make sure that whichever line you're in, make sure that you're consistent throughout. So if you want to grab right to the inside of the first stitch, And the sewing of this seam is so important to the quality of finishing of this hat. So if you think you've made a mistake, it is absolutely worth it to back it out and, and redo it. So I'm going to turn this back around again just to make sure my seams are lining up. You could uh, place safety pins or stitch markers along here just to make sure that you stay in line. You want to make sure you haven't sewn too much of one side and not enough of the other. You want to make sure your seam stays even all the way down. Okay, at the end of our seam, we're going to secure with a knot, and we'll turn our work to the inside to weave in our tails. You want to make sure that you weave in your tails in multiple directions so that they are secure and are difficult to come back out. So the longer you can weave in your tails, and the more times you change direction, the more secure you have made them. And there we have a basket weave hat knit in rows, not rounds, with a very simple decreased crown. Next I'll show you how to do the same thing in rounds. Okay, we have our basket weave hat in rounds worked through the desired length, which was about 8 inches and 40 rows, and we're now ready to work our first decrease round. And we're going to knit three together across the entire round. If you have trouble knitting three together, you can pull on your work to elongate the loops on your left hand needle to help insert your right hand needle into all three loops to knit three together. And we're going to do this all the way around. We'll be decreasing down from 60 stitches to 20 stitches. Okay, we've worked all the way around and have decreased down from 60 stitches to 20 stitches.
I'm going to remove our marker now. We really don't need it anymore. We're going to work one round even, which means we're going to knit all 20 stitches. Okay, we worked our even round of knit 20, or knit one stitch around for all 20 stitches. And now for our last round of the crown and our last decrease, we're going to knit two together around. And now we're decreasing down from 20 stitches to 10, and this is going to get really tight on these circulars, but because it's the last round, it doesn't matter if the stitches uh, end up popping off, popping through the circular, and I'll show you what I mean when we start doing that. So we've knit two together twice, three times, What I'll do now is slide that circular so that we can just get the last of the stitches knit because they'll be coming off of our needle after this so it doesn't matter. And getting cinched. So knit two together four times, five times, And we can even pull those too. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, so now we'll slide everything back onto the needles. We're down to ten stitches. And what we want to do now is, same as with the hat we did in rows, we're going to cut our tail about 18 inches long and thread it onto a yarn needle. Okay, we're going to thread that yarn onto the yarn needle. And come back over here and move all of our live stitches from the knitting needles onto the yarn needle. Okay, then we're going to cinch them all together. I'm going to make sure they come back around to the beginning of the round. So as we cinch it tight, you'll see we have that really nice crown decreased. I'm going to pop the yarn through to the wrong side of the fabric. And once we have it secure, or cinched snug, I'm going to secure it with a knot. And then we'll weave in our tail. You want to make sure that you weave in a very generous amount of yarn, at least six inches, and you want to make sure you're weaving back and forth in multiple directions so that your tail is very securely woven in. Please let me know which way you prefer to knit a basket weave hat. We did it in rows and in rounds. For more information, please follow the link in the video description to download the free pattern with step-by-step -step instructions for knitting this hat in both rows and rounds, and for more information on Be So Tender Yarn. It's worsted weight, 100% organic cotton, and comes in 23 beautiful low-impact dyed colors. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.